so it's a beautiful brand new day <laughs> i just received a call that my package has dropped so i'm actually going to pick it up and it's a surprise for you guys because i've been planning on this for a long time i've been waiting for a long time actually for this and it's finally in so i'm quickly just going to go pick it up and then i'll show you guys so the other thing is that uh my good friend kofi ampa of of photo place helped me to get this new gear that i'm going to receive or pick up i currently have my wife behind the camera doing all the camera works <laughs> <That's it. laughs> stay tuned and see you guys soon I just received it and uh, wait till we get home and we have a box for you guys to see. So. Okay, so this is it. The Z Cam E2 S6. Woo! <laughs> what? Okay. This is a limited warranty card, and I guess this is the manual, so we'll get back to it later on. But wow, this is it. It looks so, 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 so cute. I like their their packaging. It's just simple, straightforward. This is the Zcam E2 S6. This is the body. Wow, it's actually smaller than I I, I thought. I guess this is the power cable. Yeah, this is for the wireless transmission. You know, with the Zcam, you can use your your phone as a monitor by downloading their app and connecting to it. So this is for the wireless. It is an EF mount, so it's quite easier to get a number of lenses for it. I'm really glad to have it in my hands at the moment. I actually have a number of uh, accessories that I've bought that I'll be rigging it. So that will be coming in a different video. But for now, this is just an unboxing for you guys to see this Zcam E2 S6 and also it uses a C fast card over here. Yeah, so we'll be talking more about that later on. But basically, this is just the body, which is a super 35 mm sensor. So it's more or less like the a crop sensor. Yes, so the Zcam E2 S6 is my first cinema camera. 
Now, before I decided to buy it, um, I had a number of options that I was considering also. First of all, I was considering the Fujifilm X-T4, but then I thought about it and I realized that I didn't want to get another mirrorless camera for video. At the end of the day, it will still be like having another mirrorless and I wanted to just step up the game a little bit and also to be able to shoot ProRes and all of this um, other format, which um, I could achieve that with the Fujifilm X-T4 by buying uh, the Atomos Ninja, but generally I just didn't want to get another mirrorless for video. Also, another option was the Black Magic, the the 6K version. But to be honest, I am somebody that doesn't really like the form factor of the Black Magic. I don't like their design, and I wanted to, at the end of the day, also be. A little bit different because everybody is getting the black magic these days but when i thought about it the z cam was just the perfect route for me to take uh, just like when i decided to switch to fujifilm you know i just wanted to be a little bit different and just challenge myself on another level as i mentioned earlier the z cam e2 ss is an EF mount. The version I bought is an EF mount. However, Zcam has a number of mounts that you can interchange. So they have the EF mount, the Micro Four Third mount, the PL mount, and then the E mount. So let's say in case you had a bunch of Micro Four Third lenses, you can buy the Micro Four Third mount version of the Zcam. For now, I am using a number of my vintage lenses. Uh, most of my vintage lenses are screw mount and I can be able to adapt it to EF mount. So that's what I've decided to do at the moment. In terms of lenses, like cinema lenses, my favorite cinema lenses that I would like to get are the SLR Magic lenses. I love their designs. And also Reconon has an amazing set of cinema lenses that like are even cheaper uh, so like later on that's uh, these two brands of lenses that i may be looking at another thing is that zcam has an amazing facebook group which like is so helpful if you are experiencing any problem or you just want a solution to a number of issues that you're having the facebook group is just like an awesome place to be the ceo himself of zcam is also in the group so and having a facebook group like that has been really helpful even before i bought the camera because every day they are sharing new stuff and new ideas and as soon as i got it i just knew what to do anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video